Many of our customers have existing products that they're trying to wire into the gate openers uh, that they purchased from us. Uh, we are going to address a photo eye. What's nice about photo eyes is almost all of them are built the exact same way. They have uh, power that comes into them and then they usually have one relay and the one relay has uh, a common, a normally open, and a normally closed circuit. Just a quick explanation, what a relay is, is it when it gets applied power to the coil side of the relay, um, an action happens where the common moves from normally closed to normally open. So in the normal state of a photo eye, when the beam is connected, uh, the normally closed would be connected to the common. And then when the beam is tripped, the paddle inside, the metal paddle that's making this connection, flops over to the normally open, closing that circuit. So we have this photo eye. This is an NAR50, but again, we're doing this as a generalization, so we're going to pretend we don't know what any of these wires are. Hopefully, you still have some of the wiring done from your old setup, particularly the ones for the power. So in this scenario, uh, we have five wires. We know that two are going to be for power and three are going to be for the relay. Um, why is that is good if you already have it still hooked up from your old one is you can trace back the wires and find which two are going to a power supply. In our case, the brown and the blue are our power and they're going to a power supply. So now that we have uh, it powered up, we know the beam is working. I can trip the beam. I can hear an audible click. That audible click is the relay clicking inside. It's a working beam. We have three wires left. We're going to determine which one's normally open which one's normally closed, and which one's common. First thing I'm going to do is with the beam in its default position, there should be a continuity connection between the normally closed and the common. So I'm going to find which two of these three wires has a connection. I'm going to start with the white and the gray. Now remember, I'm looking for the normally closed and the common to have continuity because the beam is currently connected. I do not have continuity between the white and the gray. So one of these two wires is common and one of these two wires is normally open. Leaving one on the white, I'm going to put the other lead on the black. So I have continuity. So now I know, because I knew one of the, the white or the gray was the common, I knew the black had to be my normally closed. So by process of elimination, I should be able to touch the black to the gray and not have continuity. Excellent, I do not. So, I know the black is my normally closed. I know the white is the common and the gray is the normally open. And again, the reason I found this out was with the beam connected, meaning this in its default state, my expectation is the normally closed will be closed. My expectation is the normally closed will be closed and the normally open will be open. So I was looking for continuity. I started with the white and the gray. I did not have continuity, indicating one was going to be common and one is going to be normally open. I tested between the white and the black, and I did have a connection. So since I'm expecting common to be connected to normally closed, that was there. So I know that the black is my uh, normally closed and the white is my normally open. And just for demonstration purpose, I tried the black to the gray and there was not continuity there even though there was a connection here so the gray has to be my normally open. One last thing I could do to test this out. When the beam is disrupted I now have continuity between the white and the gray which is correct. When the beam is disrupted and normally open then becomes a closed circuit and you gain continuity.